All right, we're back. So we're going to look into basically just fleshing this thing out a little bit more, making it more fun to play and uh, catering it to what we feel like it should be like. And we're also going to look into respawning the player dynamically uh, when he explodes and dies. And we're going to stomp out some bugs in the health, health FSM template that we made because currently there's a couple of things we need to address in there. So let's get started with that first and uh, look at what's what we've, kind of made that won't scale well in the way we've done it. So if you recall, we used the we created the health FSM on the sky car. And then we said, well, hey, let's just make this a template and put it on all the other objects. But there's a couple problems with that, which you can iterate up, of course. So it's not really a bug. It's just currently not working as intended. So what we can't do is specify that the turret has less health than the sky car because it's using the same template and filling this health variable, right? We'll fix this. And the other thing is that it doesn't know we had this hardwired up in the sky car when we made the template. So it doesn't know where to put this explosion. You might have noticed that in the last video. It was just blowing up over here out in oblivion. So we can fix that too. We can fix both of these problems by creating a startup state and initializing some data. So let's just call this setup. New state, set it as a start state. We're editing the template here. So this is going to go on all three of these objects, the captain, the cannon, and the car. Okay, so we're going to say get owner. And we're going to create a this owner object variable. Plug it in right there and say finished and then go into our regular business as usual. Okay, so we're going to plug this owner in right there. And then when this starts up on whatever object it's on, it's going to say, hey, who owns this script? And then it's going to plug that object in. And then when it explodes, it puts the explosion right there. That's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Now, to solve the health problem, if I want the cannon to have 50 health and the car to have 100 health, I can still do that. The way to do it is the, well, one way to do it is to set up a uh, a different FSM called stats. So let's go to the sky car and say add FSM to sky car. And we're going to call this FSM stats. We're going to do this on any object that we want to put information on. So we've got this template that can interact dynamically now with the object it's on. So we might as well give it as much information as we we want, right? As we can use dynamically. So this stats FSM here on the sky car isn't going to have any states or anything. It's just going to be sitting there and it's just going to fill values. So you could actually do this with a you know your own script or whatever and then just draw from that if you wanted to. But here we'll just pop a new FSM in. And we're going to say uh, the health float. All right. So the health float is zero right now. We're going to say that this object is going to have 80 health. That's what the car is going to have. Now we're going to go to the face melter, add a new FSM, call this FSM stats, and we're going to create a float called health. And we're going to say that this health is 50. Now we're going to go to the captain, add the FSM, name it stats, and new health, 50. Well, you know what, captain, he's he's not going to be awesome unless he has more health than everybody. So we're going to say 150. I think that's fair. Much more fair. Okay, so moving on, we basically connected, we, we've said there's a health variable as a stat. So in the health template, we're going to say in the initialization setup state, we're going to say uh, get FSM float. Now, for health variables and stuff, you probably prefer to use integers, but health is okay here, or floats are okay here. Um, let's see, get, let's see, we're going to use the owner. It's going to be health FSM, and it's going to be the variable named health. And we're going to store that as health. Now, health in this template is already being used. So all we have to do 
is tell it how much health there's going to be. And this template, of course, we've specified that there's 100 health. But, um, you know, when this runs and it gets the owner and then it says, uh, well, actually, this should be stats. So when it goes to the, the owner's stats FSM and grabs the health variable, it's going to replace whatever we got in this template, which is exactly what we want. So we can force it to fill a different health on everything while we still use a very basic template. So it creates a really dynamic way to update uh, uh, characters, uh, NPCs, enemies, and things like that. Uh, on their own prefab while still maintaining that you've got this generic health template. Really powerful. So now let's see how it works. See the template set up, it's getting the information, then it's going to here, and everything's working as usual. Now back on the captain and objects, we've got stats. Everything looks okay. So the captain now should start out with 150 health. Now we have some GUI going here, so that should work right there. All right, so if you look at the top left, he has 150 health. And I'm sure that this turret has less than that. All right, so let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, number two, we can't attack the turret because the turret has no collider to manage collisions. We do have this sphere collider, but it's a trigger. So to fix that, just add a box collider, and that's all there is to it. And we'll just scale this thing up. Make it about that big. That's cool. Now we can actually shoot the turret, and he'll blow up per usual. No problem. 50 health? No problem. All right. So now that mechanic is working. You notice the explosion's in the right spot. He's got the right amount of health, and everything's just working like we want it to. Now let's move on to respawning.